But startups is a major focus for Ox Agile. It seems like you've specialized in being able to take companies. I mean, Jump TV was at version two already, but even version zero, <laughs> where you just it's just an idea. How, how did that come about? Yeah, you're right in that we're working extensively with the startups, and we understand their needs, uh, we understand the cycle of startups in existence. So with Jump TV, it was uh, kind of um, entering the period when they had their foothold in the market yeah. when someone knew them and they began to grow rapidly. And for this they needed technology, they needed new partners, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And many of our projects uh, have started at an <coughs> earlier phase mm -hmm. of, a, of a startup. So one uh, project I'm personally familiar with, which uh, I helped to secure for the company, yeah. is called uh, vSnap. Uh, that's um, best described as a video-based tweeter. So the premise for the service is that you can make short, captive, uh, video messages mm -hmm. of um, any ideas and there are very many uh, applications where you can use it mm -hmm. um, like you can use it for advertising in your business mm -hmm. you can make a, a quick p-snap about a restaurant you visited so a very nice um, a very nice technology and it all started with uh, with an idea from the founder um, who's living in uh, uh, in Ireland Ireland okay uh, yeah originally it was more geared towards um, uh, towards medical uh, sphere, hmm. and uh, then it evolved um, into being something more general. Mm -hmm. So we've been with this company uh, through the complete cycle of developing this platform. So we started with inception, mm -hmm. with literally a two-page description of the service, of the concept, okay. into prototyping, into uh, specification, of course into technical design. Mm -hmm. And then took it through two versions. So mm -hmm. the first built in .NET, the second built in Java, Groovy mm -hmm. and Grails to be specific. Mm -hmm. And uh, now this is a very interesting service that I'm using personally, mm -hmm. and I recommend everyone to use it. It's it's really nice. Wow, we should put this video on uh, on there as well, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe uh, too long for them. Maybe, maybe too they, long. They yeah, yeah. We'll have to edit it down. Um, so in in that. Example, um, how long did these various stages uh, take? So I assume the entrepreneur came with just the idea, and then from that the two pages were created, and then additional specifications and requirements? Mm -hmm. I think we were done with specification work um, in about a month, a month and a half. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, there may have been a small pause before actual development started. Mm -hmm. So if you take those two points, like the idea and um, having the site live, yeah. I think it was about five months. Wow, um, that's fast, yeah. And it, it seems like a, well, I guess it, it must have a fairly simple user interface though, right? But there's a lot of, ha a lot of things happening underneath. And, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You want to make it simple for the user, yeah. so it's very easy to use. Yeah. Because again, this is video technology, and you don't want to make it over complicated. Right. But yeah. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. Oh, and then I assume that was done in, a, in an agile kind of fashion, right? Because you start off with an. <coughs> you, I assume it was done in an agile fashion because you start off with an idea, but it must change over time, over those five months and beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, most of the projects we do, and this including. Um, are done in an iterated development way. Right. So you basically split the project, if it's, for example, four months, mm -hmm. you split it into sprints, mm -hmm. um, into small iterations, each of, each of them ending in a specific block of functionality that you can already see. Yeah. This is something that is very easy to do with uh, web projects because mm -hmm. you can uh, create the first forms, like the user, the, the first uh, login forms and some of the UI elements. Mm -hmm. Then you can add up more in uh, successive sprints. And even uh, after the first sprint, you can uh, put something online for the better users to, mm -hmm. to look and to comment and give their feedback. Mm -hmm. This works very well with web projects, by the way. Uh, just, just to know that with mobile projects, you have to make a bit more functionality. Mm -hmm. Just because if you want them to be on the App Store, uh, for example, they would look at your application mm -hmm. and say, maybe it's too simple right now, so yeah. you want to add something else. Yeah. But with web projects, indeed, there are iterations. Normally, they're from two weeks to four weeks, mm -hmm. so about a month. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this was as we uh, did it in this project. 
So if there were four months in development, there were four versions. Okay. Now, how many developers worked on that project? Uh, I think the entire team was uh, four people, two mm -hmm. developers, a QA engineer, and a project manager. Okay, good.